Hey guys, it's from the math person, and today I'll be going over question 301 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you already tried it yourself, let's just dive right in. A car and a bus arrive at a railroad crossing at times independently and uniformly distributed. Uniformly distributed between 7.15 and 7.30. Okay, so let's draw a little timeline. 7.15 and 7.30. A train arrives at the crossing at 7.20 and halts, the, halts at the crossing for 5 minutes. So let's see, this is like 7.20. And a train is here between 7.20 to 7.25, right? Um, This is the train. Let me color it like yellow. Train. Okay. Calculate the probability that the waiting time for the car probability that the time for the car or bus is greater than three minutes okay so this is what we're looking for so what would it um i think okay not gonna lie the first time i read this i definitely missed the part that says or so it's the probability that it's either car or a bus so for, imagine this if we know the probability for a car and we know the probability for a bus. It's this whole thing. So it's going to be the probability of car plus probability of bus minus this part that we counted twice. Okay. So let me write that down here. Probability of car plus probability of bus minus the probability of car and a bus. Alrighty, alrighty. So what would be the probability of the, um, a single car waits for greater than three minutes well you only wait three minutes if you get here at 720 or 720 if you can't get here at 720 you wait for the whole five minutes if you get here at 721 you wait for four minutes if you get here at 720 um two you wait here for three minutes and we, we want to find out when they would wait for greater than three minutes so we can actually only count when it's 720 and 721 so that's these two directions so that's about that's two out of what's the total po probability total possible um, outcome where well, there's 15 minutes so that's 15 minutes so the probability for a single car to be waiting um their waiting time exceeds three minutes is two out of 15 okay so probably for a car is two out of 15 what would it be for a bus well, it's the same thing. They have the same uniform distribution, so it's going to be 215. What would it be for a car and a bus? Well, we know that they're independent. Because it's independent, we remember that the B, A times V is equal to probability of A times... Oh, <laughs> this is the probability. Okay, that's kind of messy. So the probability of A and B... For independence is probability of A times probability of B. So it's just equal to 2 15th times 2 15th. Right? So um, plugging it back into our um, formula right here. Let me use a different color. This formula right here. So the, the probability of the car or a bus is greater than 3 minutes is 2 15th plus 2 15th minus. Um, 2 15th squared. Okay, let me just type that into my calculator real quick. Plus 2 15th minus 2 15th squared. Okay, so this is equal to 56 over 225, which is approximately equal to 0.24889, which is even approximately approximated to 2.5 which is your answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let them leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!